Okay, it is 12.33, so we're going to get started. Um, if people chime in, that will be great. But for now, what I want to do today is give a brief introduction to both the book, Misilati Sharim, as well as the author, the Ramchal, Rav Moshe Chaim Zato, both of which are really interesting, both of which make studying this text um, particularly fun. And... To some extent, I feel like most people, when they're first introduced to Misilati Sharim, they're introduced while they're in yeshiva. Often when people go to Israel for that first year, it's one of the first books that uh, one of the mashkiachs or one of the um, chavrei kolel, one of the guys who's in the Beit Midrash will suggest that if you want to start a book, they will lead you to the book Misilati Sharim. And very often when you study the Vesilati Sharim the first time, you actually do not know any of the background of the book. You don't know any of the background of the Ramchal. And I think it's really uh, unfortunate because both of those two facts make the reality of the Vesilati Sharim being such a ubiquitous text in the Jewish community today, all the more amazing, in my opinion. So just to understand the background and the backdrop, the Ramchal was born in the very beginning of the 18th century. I think it was, uh, I think, 1707, something like that. I don't remember the exact year, but very early. And he's born in Italy. Isaiah Bassan is a great rabbi and Talmudist in the area who is one of the Ramchal's main teachers. And the Ramchal is really an unbelievable, an unbelievable author. He writes plays. He writes books. His passion, though, is Kabbalah. His passion is the, the mystical texts. Now, when we learn Misiyot Sharim, you're not going to have any mystical overtones. There might be some mystical undertones, but you're not going to get any overt mysticism. Um, and it's one of the reasons I think that the Misiyot Sharim was insulated from some of the realities of the Ramchal's life. So let me get into that. Before we can really talk about the Ramchal, though, we have to appreciate the backdrop in which he is working. Right? In, this, in the mid-17th century, 1660s, Rav Shabtai Tzvi, the famous false messiah, was really coming to popularity. His name was floated 